is said that Andrew Jackson once climbed a tall oak tree and from its sturdy branches, far as the eye could see, stood his massive blue coat army determined to defend its honor and its country in the battle of Horseshoe Bend. From that tree, he shouted orders. Soon the battle would begin. And I remember each word spoken. I stood that close to him. Cannon roared destruction. And ranks formed to attack. And as I watched, I wondered. How many would come back? And the muddy Talapusa would soon be flowing red. And all the wounded, the dying, and the dead. In the early 1800s, the Southland was the home of the Great Creek Indian Nation. And its boundaries were well known. Thousands of white settlers, in haste to fill their needs, would ignore the terms of treaties and the boundaries paid no heed. Some Creeks would befriend them, even lend a helping hand. Others were determined to drive them from the land. Now, these men were known as red sticks. That's a color meaning war. Each of them vowed to return to their ancient ways once more. They built a wooden barricade that's still there, by the way, across the neck of Horseshoe Boat's left of it, across the neck, across the neck of Horseshoe Bend. They were believing in that prophecy that they'd be safe with him. But Red Eagle warned Chief Menowa, and uh, this I heard him say Wooden walls cannot withstand. The weapons of today and the muddy Talapusa would soon be flowing red with the blood of all the wounded, the dying, and the dead. The red sticks were outnumbered by the soldiers three to one. And since they had few modern weapons, they also were outgunned. Jackson's friendly Cherokees and white sticks then appeared. They'd swum that icy river to assault him from the rear. A bayonet charge was ordered. Now the fight was hand to hand. The blue coats scaled that barricade and chaos took command. I heard screams of pain and war cries and shouts of cursing men as brutality showed no mercy in the battle of Horseshoe Bend. That muddy Talapusa now was flowing red with the blood of all the wounded, the dying, and the dead. The outcome was decisive. Andrew Jackson's men had won. Red sticks by the hundreds lay rotting in the sun. The Talapusa River claimed 400 more. This carnage was a Worst defeat of all the Indian Wars. It was March the 27th, 1814 was the year. The great Creek Indian nation had lost what it held dear. All organized resistance from that day forth would end. The spirit had been broken in the Battle of Horseshoe Bend. The victory helped earn Jackson the highest office in the land. And where that slaughter took place, a monument now stands. You can go see it sometime. Uh, uh, to remind us of our history and to honor those brave men who fought and died and gave their all in the Battle of Horseshoe Bend. And me? <laughs> I'm still standing. 
in the spot I stood that day. The horror of that dreadful scene will never fade away. And it's true that Andrew Jackson climbed that tall oak tree. You ask me, uh, I know this. Uh, you see, that tree 